no intro today. We're just gonna get right into this, man. I'm uh, I'm pretty disappointed right now. I'm not gonna lie. The Celtics just got their asses whooped. All right, Bucks, you did it. Congrats. That was a good performance. Um, uh, the Celtics though, that was possibly the worst performance I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty shit performances. Let me just keep it real with you. I've seen the Celtics get absolutely destroyed by the Cavs and, and Kyrie Irving that one game where they got spanked by 40 something and somehow this was just worse this was honestly just worse it, it's it's really disappointing because at least back then I felt like they were trying I I don't know what I just saw like it just from the get-go they just looked awful like and the Bucks didn't even play that well tonight either. Like, they, they really didn't. They played pretty shitty. And yet, still, we're up by, like, 20 because the Celtics just, they mailed it in. A couple guys tried tonight, and I do appreciate that. Jalen Brown gave an effort, actually was trying. Marcus Morris, Marcus Smart, too, and, and that man's basically playing on one leg out there. I think he got injured again tonight, too, which, that, that blows. Um, <laughs> so, hopefully, he gets a recovery, a fast recovery, um, because, yeah, uh, it's the off season now. I mean, I guess he doesn't need a fast recovery. We got a whole freaking six months until we play another game. So let's talk about Kyrie Irving, man. That's why I really wanted to make this video, honestly. Um, because I've never been so disappointed in a player. I really haven't. Um, let me just say this first of all. Kyrie Irving had a pretty good regular season last year when he played. He was great, and like when he is in the zone, he is unstoppable. But when he is not. And when he is clearly not giving full effort like he was over these past four games, it is embarrassing to watch. It is so absolutely terribly bad. It's so bad. It's, oh my god, I just it's so bad, dude. Um, like like it's it, it's not even the fact that like he's missing shots. I get that. I understand that. But it's also the fact that he's not getting back on defense. And then when he gets back on defense, he is just he's he's accepting to like. He's literally calling people off of Giannis to defend on Giannis. Or he's just leaving the shooters open. Like, like I just... The defense was absolutely terrible. And I'm one of those guys who says Kyrie's actually a pretty good defender. He was awful. Awful in this series. Absolutely terrible. Um, so, there's that. Um, but then, it, that, that's not really, like, what gets to me. Because, nah, whatever. Guys play bad. It happens. Guys have bad shooting games. I've been really, like... That, I remember last year, I was so upset after losing Game 7 to the Cavs. And I was like, man, Terry Rozier really went, you know, 1 for 9 from 3. And Jalen Brown went like 0 for, I don't know, like 0 for 7. They went 0 for 10. I don't know. They were like 1 for 15 combined. I was like, damn, they shot awful. And most of them were open good looks. And after I have just saw what I just saw, I'm like, wow. I was, I was way too hard on those guys because that was one freaking game. We just saw Kyrie Irving do that. Back to back to back to fucking back. I, like, 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 that, just, I, I mean, I, I can't, I, I really, I can't, I've never seen this. An NBA player just absolutely just packing it in because, I don't know, it just didn't look right. It just didn't. Um, so, I don't know. Have fun where you, wherever you go next, man. Um, he, he ain't signing here, and you know what? If, if that's the case, whatever, man. If he comes back, I mean, you got to play a lot better than that. But, I mean, holy crap, man. That was embarrassing. That was so freaking bad. Like, man, I, I'm not going to go burn no jersey. You know, I have a Kyrie Celtics jersey right here. I'm not going to go burn it, no nothing. But this bad boy going in the back of the closet, fam. It going in the back of the closet. And if, when he leaves it going to Goodwill, someone else can put it to good use. They'll send it on somewhere. Um, because, man, I, that was just embarrassing. Like, uh, like, if I were him, I'd almost want to stay so you could prove idiots like me and, like, everyone who's doubting him, like, wrong. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That's just me because that was embarrassing. I, I don't know how you could live with that. Like, he wasn't even, they, he literally wasn't even playing a lot in this game. He was playing so bad that they were just like, you know what, eh, just sit on the bench with, it's a 12-point game in the third quarter. You know what, let's just sit him on the bench. Um, and then the fourth quarter comes. It's like a 15, 18 point game. Gets to 20. He was in for like a minute or two. Sit down. Yeah, it was that bad. It was terrible. Um, and like again, as I was saying, it's not even the fact that you have bad games. I'm, I, I, that doesn't bother me. But then he takes the post game press conference 
and he just absolutely spews bullshit. And that drives me freaking batshit crazy, man. Because he goes, okay, he has that one bad game where he goes like four for 18, I think it was. Then he has another bad game, and he goes eight for 22. And, and what he said after was, you will not see a eight for 22 game. And I kind of just, just give him a nice, nice slow clap. What is that? Is that a slow clap? I don't know what the fuck that was, but it wasn't a slow clap. It wasn't a fast clap. It was just fucked up because that's what that was, saying that and then having two games worse than that. Worse. Like, <laughs> and just absolutely worse. And yeah, I, I just, I, I can't believe that, man. He went, I think, in the next game, seven for 21 or, or seven for, I think, 22. And then tonight, six for 21. Wow, he, he somehow goes. Oh yeah, by the way, tonight one assist, three turnovers. Uh, Celtics as a team overall, they suck tonight. But I, I just it starts at the top of the snake, the head of the snake, and that's Kyrie Irving on this team. And it just I I don't know. I'm I'm pretty disgusted, man. This was a guy who I had earlier in the year said was a top eight NBA player, and I just watched him turn in one of the top eight all time worst four game stretch I've ever had to watch, man. That was so bad. Isaiah Thomas would never. And I'm going to be honest with you. I would love for him to come back in the offseason. One of my favorite players ever. And man, and the more I have to watch that crap, the more I appreciate him. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really that sad right now. I'm honestly just more like, meh, whatever. That, 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 I mean, I just think that was bullshit, to be honest. Like, uh, can we get like a bronze moments card for him on 2K? Like, that was actually bullshit the way he played. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really that um, sad or disappointed. Like, I was actually genuinely sad when they lost last year. Like, that was that was a tough loss. This, I'm just like, wow, like, that's how you're going to go out, dude? Like, that's, that's what you're going to do? Like, that right there, that performance is what you want to be known for. This was a guy who proclaimed he wanted to, you know, hang his jersey number in the Raptors, and he proclaimed he was going to stay here. And, I mean, he still could, but you're going to put that type of performance forward in the playoffs like like at not one point after he said you won't see you know an 8 for 22 game whatever you won't see it from me did he even show anything he had one stretch one stretch in tonight's game where he hit a three and i think he hit a layup and that was it he was missing layups throughout the series layups layups like i just i, I don't know man something's something's up dude uh so, I don't know. Um, Celtics, we got our asses kicked. And, yeah, uh, I, I, I know y'all would want to hear me eat some crow. So, here it is. I'm chowing down on that shit because, whoo, whoo, it's bad tonight. Yeah, that was just, um, yeah, that was embarrassing. I'm going to be honest with you. I, so, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, Celtics, they sucked. We lost. And, yeah, I'm just like, okay. Oh, well, I mean. I guess that's it. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm really not that sad. Uh, I mean, the Bucks played... I think the Bucks played pretty well, but I really don't even think they played, like, super elite during this series either, which is like... Like, like we didn't even get a good series, though. That's the thing. Like, the series wasn't even good. Like, first game, Celtics, I thought, played really solid. They had a game plan for defending Giannis. And then after that... Like, uh, also, I want to say this, too. Brad Stevens was awful this series once again. And I find this guy, the more I watch him, like, the, the, the less I like him. His rotations are absolutely terrible. His game management of timeouts is awful. Like, he lets the Bucks go on 15, 16, 17-point runs. One of them was, like, a 24-point run. And it's like, dude, are you going to call a timeout at any point here? Like, like the, 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 the clock management's awful. And then, like, tonight, again, the rotations are terrible. You've got guys who really aren't playing well and aren't giving an effort, and you still are running them, and then he puts out this lineup. Again, with the game still in hand, it's like a 12-point game. He puts out a lineup like Daniel Tice, who really hasn't played because he's not that great anymore. It's like The lineup was so bad, I can't remember. It was mi it was miserable. It was like, it was Marcus Smart, who, who again, I love Marcus Smart, but he's clearly not healthy. He was like probably, I think he was probably two for like 18 in this series. He was really bad um so yeah i don't know and um yeah i mean again there were a few couple bright spots somehow not many marcus morris was pretty decent and uh, jalen brown i thought was okay but tatum hayward they stunk um 
but I don't know. It just doesn't have the same effect that Kyrie had. That just is an all-time stinker. This is a, a dookie of unseen proportions. I have never seen a player lay an egg like this. I just, I really haven't. I don't know. Um, dude went out there and shot sub 30%. Like, it's just awful. And most of them were open looks, too. Like, open jump shots, open threes. Like, the dude just forgot how to shoot, it seemed like. And, yeah, I don't think that's it. I think he just kind of mailed it in. And you know what? Oh, well, not much you can do about that. I definitely didn't foresee that happening. Um, so, yeah. Celtics lose. Uh, Celtics bucks in five. There you go. Um, not much else to say, man. Those are my thoughts. Uh, I'm excited for the offseason because something's going to happen. Uh, something big's going to have to happen, man. I don't know. If this doesn't wake up the front office, that this team is not going to get it done. And you need to move someone. And, yeah. I don't know. I just, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and, like, I also, I watched Kyrie Irving's press conference, too. And I was really hoping he would take some accountability and say, I was not good enough to win this series or win these games. He didn't say anything, anything like that. So you can come out here and say, I can get my shot whenever. I, I stunk tonight, which he didn't say. And, uh, but, he, but he did kindly say that one night. I should have shot the ball 30 times. <laughs> 30 times, fam. 30. Okay, yeah, you, you would have just missed eight more times, and they would have lost by another 10 to 15 points. Uh, unreal. That was just, that, when he said that, that was when I was pissed the most, because I just, I, that just pisses me off, dude. You had a bad game. You're not playing well. Why should you have shot the ball 30 times? And you're talking about how great of a shooter you are when you're literally playing worse than their bench players. Like, I just, I can't, man. It's funny to me. So, that's it. Celtic season's over. I'll probably make another video, maybe around draft time, on guys I want them to draft. I usually do reactions like this every now and then. Um, did one last year. Did one when they traded Isaiah Thomas for Kyrie, and I was pretty, I was pretty confused back then because I really liked Isaiah Thomas, as y'all know, if you know me, and if you follow the channel and the videos and stuff. But um, I was still excited because Kyrie was a great player. But man, those were the two years we got from him. Uh, yeah, that was really underwhelming. So, yeah, I mean, Isaiah Thomas would have been injured that last year anyway, not last year, but, uh, man, I really hope we re-sign that guy, because that guy gives a shit, and that guy plays with fucking heart. Man, I don't know, I just, like, I, I just, I, I feel embarrassed to be a Celtics fan if that came tonight. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I guess I'll watch the rest of the basketball games, because... Uh, there ain't no way I'm gonna see some shit like I saw tonight, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. A pretty, pretty long rant, I guess. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. Um, it's crazy how things could change. I'll say that. Because I, I have been a Kyrie fan, supporter, and I'm not saying I'm not still a fan, but, like, man, I just, I, I feel like I just, I just could care less now about this guy. Um, and, like, that's crazy to me. I've never felt this way about like any of my like sports teams or players like I just am so disgusted by that performance like it was so bad like I was pretty upset by the last year's performance but this is this is way worse this is way worse so yeah that's all I got man let me know what you think down in the comment section I know a couple people were tweeting me they were Celtics fans they wanted to hear it too they, they were upset and I, I couldn't be more there with you um it's just just disappointing man I just you really that's that's how you're gonna like you'd think tonight you'd go out and give it your all be playing hustling playing 110 percent i saw a guy that was jogging back on defense at times and leaving guys open like that's not 110 percent so yep guy blue uh let's put the put the jersey in the closet again we're not gonna burn jerseys i think that's stupid i really do i think putting sticky notes on the back of the jerseys is stupid too we're not gonna do that we're just gonna take the jersey and it's just gonna get put in the closet and that's it nothing no crazy reaction i'm sorry i know y'all probably want to see that but i'm an adult i'm a grown man i'm not gonna burn a piece of clothing when there are kids out there who don't have clothing we'll give it a good will and they'll put some good use to it so yeah that's that um hope you guys did enjoy um yeah that's all i got for you man peace